Hi and welcome back to another raft video. As we are on a big raft journey, we thought we'd put together helpful guides for each of the game's story locations. Well, at least that's the goal, and today we are kicking it off with the first one, the radio tower. Each episode will cover blueprints, notes and characters, as well as noteworthy loot, and of course where you can find the code to the next story location. As it's the first location, the receiver code required to find the tower is the default one set when you build it. If you change the numbers by accident, check your journal for the code. The location normally spawns in your path, so a sail is enough to reach it. We do recommend anchoring up relatively close to avoid a long swim. No other special preparations should be required. This location has two blueprints, the headlight and the recycler. You will find and unlock Tala as a playable character. There are five lore-related notes to uncover and two achievements to unlock. All in all, the radio tower offers multiple levels, including two underwater, and there's also a handful of loot boxes spread around. Let's dive into it! Note that we have timestamps, in case you return to this guide or want to recheck any part of it later. Once on the tower, you are on level B, with two further ones being underwater. We'll start with the underwater part. Head over to the edge here. You can see a submerged briefcase which is our first note. Optionally, head into the half-submerged building A2 for a loot box. Turn and head left, then out of the building. Looking down again, we can see the fully submerged building A1. There is one loot box inside for more materials. Just in a storage room and behind the door. Now let's get up and find our second note. The second note is located inside building B1. It's on a table at the end of the room. Next up, more loot. Jump on the roof of B1 and up a bit further until you reach building C2. There's a loot box to pick up. Now to the first blueprint and another note. Jump back down and climb up on the top of the building B2 on the opposite side. Once up, take the first door to the left, which leads you into C1. Turn left inside and you'll notice a blueprint on a table for the headlight. For the note, turn right and you'll see it hanging on the notice board. Now we'll head up two floors to the next note and catch a loot box on the way. You need to navigate this beam. Then jump over to the broken staircase on the right side. Once up, another run jump is required to get over to the other side. Head inside building D1 and grab the note on the counter. Next up, another blueprint, followed by the final note. We are going to the very top of the tower. Jump on top of the roof of D1. Jump up further, then once again across to a broken staircase. Once up and inside the radio station, there's a blueprint hanging on the whiteboard. This one is for the recycler. The final note is also on the whiteboard which gives you the code to the next story island. Having followed our guide, you should now also have unlocked the achievement Radio Tower Historian, which requires you to find all notes, as well as Easter Aeotopia. And finally, next to another loot box, you'll find Tala sitting at the table. Talk to her and you'll unlock your first playable character. You can now find Tala on the main menu under Character. Here you can select any character you have unlocked. It works the same as changing your outfit. And you can change character and outfit anytime before you load into your game. If the guide was helpful, we'd appreciate a thumbs up and of course feel free to subscribe and even hit that bell for future updates. We have many more raft videos for you to discover.